Good morning, everyone. So we are group five, and our report is all about histogram. So now let me go ahead and discuss to you the learning objectives. So first, by the end of this report, we should be able to identify histogram's definition as well as some examples. Next is histogram's brief history, like who invented histogram or when was it invented. Next is histogram's purpose as well as its importance. Fourth would be the steps in making a histogram and the fifth and final objective would be identifying or differentiate histogram to bar graph. So now let's get started. Histogram A histogram is a graphical representation that organizes a group of data points into user-specified ranges. What is the history of histogram? Histogram comes from the Greek word hestas, which means a pole or mass, and gramma, which means a chart or graph. It was being used by Carl Persson in 1895. Carl Persson is an English mathematician and biostatistician. He is the first person who used that graphical presentation in his time. It was discussed earlier that a histogram is a graphic presentation of data. Let us know what are its purposes. The general purpose of a histogram is to present an easily understood summary about certain data. And it can be almost any type of data. The written data is transposed into a chart that has vertical blocks the number of blocks depends on the categories of the data collected. The statistical purpose. Using data presented in the histogram, you can determine statistical information. This includes the mean volume, the average across all the blocks, the maximum volume, the highest block, and the minimum volume, the lowest block. Steps in making histograms. Step 1. Observe the class of the distribution. If they are discontinuous, change them into continuous classes. Step 2. Locate the class boundaries on the x-axis. Step 3. Construct a vertical rectangle on each line segment representing a class interval such that the height of the rectangle represents frequency of the class interval. Step 4. Put a kink mark on the horizontal axis between the vertical axis and the first rectangle. If the if the leftmost rectangle does not have the vertical axis on each side. Example number one. Freckles give the grades of the grade students during their quiz in math. So the first thing we're going to do is to tell these data we have. Now that we have told these data, we are going to write the frequency. Now that we wrote the frequency, we are going to graph. Now that we have graphed these status, we now see the clear picture of the grades of the grade 1 students. We only have 1 student who scored 4, 2 students who scored 7, 3 students who scored 8, 4 students who scored 9, and there are only 2 students who got the perfect score 10. As we can see, there are no spaces in between the graphs. It's continuous. Example number two. I have here a histogram which displays the data of students' scores, and a question how many students altogether are displayed in this histogram. So we have here some students scored 0 to 59, 60 to 69, and so on. If we look at the top of our bar angled to the left, we can see two students scored between 0 to 59. On this bar, three students scored between 60 to 69. On this bar, has four students, 
and this bar has 7 students. And this bar has 3 students scored between 90 to 100. Let's count the students. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 9 plus 7 equals 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. Therefore, there are 19 students shown in this histogram. I'm gonna discuss to you the histogram versus the pie graphs. So histogram are used to distribution or summarized variable status. While the bar graphs are used to compare between the variable data or groups through the track of through the change over time. So I'm gonna show you the examples of histogram and bar graphs. So as you can see in the picture, as um, histogram has no gap. Yes, that means. While the bar graph has a uh, gap between each other, so this example, as you can see, they are different to each other. Yes, everything that has been tackled by my group mates defines a histogram. That is a histogram. Again, this histogram is basically just a bar chart that represents a frequency distribution. It has four parts, the title, the X and Y axis, and also the bars. They also tackled that histogram differs from bar graph. And also, they tackled that the purpose of histogram is to graphically summarize the distribution of an unvariated data set. That is a histogram.